Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and a, a major diplomatic role between uh, India and Maldives is currently happening right now. Uh, it's it's uh, quite bad actually. So the, this is India, in case you do not know, uh, no, India is here. And Maldives is actually this chain of island just south of India. Very, very close. Uh, it's a chain of very, very small islands. Uh, basically everything is resort uh, they are all resorts uh, this is basically their main business uh, main industry as well as fisheries so the so what's happening in the, is that uh, there is this a uh, boy called Maldives uh, currently trending on social media in India and it actually also being reacted by um, by actors and uh, ex cricketers you no know, famous celebrity people encouraging people to not go to Maldives and go to the Indian islands instead. So, <clears throat> what happened? It actually happened. Uh, it actually uh, as a is that's a it started off with Modi visiting the Lakshadweep, uh, the Lakshadweep islands or the Lakshadweep islands. So, what are the what is the Lakshadweep islands? It's actually a ch the chain of island just north of Maldives. It's actually this group of islands over here. And uh, these islands are just as beautiful as as the Maldives. As you can see from the images uh, posted by uh, Modi, <coughs> you can see that he's standing on the beach. It's super pretty. And uh, this is another one of these uh, very, very uh, you no know, marketing you know, PR photo of him relaxing on, on the beach. And basically, he went uh, snorkeling. You know, you can, you can see here, he, he's snorkeling at the Lashadweep Islands and then sharing the images saying that uh it's a very very awesome experience for him and uh he's there also to inaugurate and lay the foundation for various projects for quite a bit of money i, I can't read crore uh i i, I can't I haven't figured out what number is this i think it's like six zeros or something or five zeros uh, so uh, i'm not not sure uh so basically you know he he encouraged his fellow countrymen to actually visit lasha uh as a tourist destination so so basically that's it it's it's, it's very innocent uh, from the surface of it it looks very innocent but this actually came as a threat uh is some uh say, came, came as a threat to some of the maldivian you know, or the maldive people or particularly the politician they view this as an attack on them so as a result um some of these uh, Maldivian ministers started to attack Modi on Twitter or X. Particularly this a uh, very serious one, which is uh, by this uh, this person called Shrina. Uh, this he called the Indian premier a clown. He basically basically said, "What a clown! The puppet of Israel, Mister Narendra, diver with the life jacket." So basically, he's calling the Indian prime minister. A clown and a puppet of Israel. Uh, clearly, because he's uh, she is Muslim, as you can see, there's a tudong, or you know the hijab, whatever, whichever you call it. Uh, she wear she's a Muslim because uh, Maldives is actually a Muslim country, and uh, clearly, you know, Muslim country, so they support pa Palestine. It's kind of brainless, and India su supports Israel. So this this put takes a kind of like a Israel Palestinian tint to it, and uh, she she after posting it you no know, maybe she's like very very pissed off you no know, she hashtag visit maldive and sunny side out of life uh she subsequently deleted the post uh realizing that uh she made a mistake because she's not a normal person you no know? a normal person can you no know, tweet whatever you want but you know when you are a minister it's kind of different i think she's a deputy minister so but unfortunately because she already you know posted this everybody screenshots now today so the screen the screenshot is that actually went viral and then uh in another post she also uh she also did describe india's military presence in maldives uh uh as you no know, some kind of bad things i think i didn't see that post so similar post is actually also being posted by the Mausha sharif and abdullah mazum majid so other deputy ministers so so one uh one of them uh i think is ramiz so i think i'm not sure is who is this basically responded and saying that uh, the idea that the this islands or uh, this this lashadip islands can compete uh, can compete with the maldives is delusional and i say that how can they provide the service they offer 
how can they be so clean and the permanent something the fragrance uh, in the room will be the biggest downfall so it is very uh, racist and derogative uh, being uh, used to attack this actually is a pretty innocent post in my opinion because the prime minister visiting their own islands promoting uh, tourism in their own country don't it's not it's nothing very surprising but there is backdrop backdrop to this but i will, I will go through it i go through why uh, in the wow so basically it created this overreaction uh and then uh, they went on the turret and clearly this is not going to be you no know, taken lightly by india and uh, the indian external affairs basically summoned the high commissioner of uh of the maldives to you no know, to the foreign ministry to be to be scolded or something and uh but the reaction of the government of course is not going to be much uh, the government basically summons the ambassador and basically give them a, you know, give them a scolding or something. But what happened is that uh, the people of India started reacting. So there, so the, they started to do boycott, including one of these major uh, travel company called the East My Trip, basically suspended all flights booking to Maldives, and uh, basically they. Uh, the CEO says that you know, in solidarity of their country, they suspended all Maldives flight bookings, and they they also gonna they gonna start promote special offers to uh, the Lashadri. So basically, you know, uh, saying that it is actually as good as Maldives or the Seychelles, and uh, they say that basically they should uh, support India, India destinations instead of uh, going to Maldives. And uh, this comes at a really bad time because the Maldives president is actually in China today. He's visiting China today, all the way to the 12th, 8 to the 12th. And uh, this is actually posted by the CGTN. This is actually a uh, 5th of January. So this actually is a scheduled uh, visit. Uh, and in this visit, the uh, presidency will be welcome, welcoming him. Uh, two head of state will co talk and then sign some uh cooperation documents and uh, this is actually very uh, unusual because what happens is that uh, the this president is is actually known to be pro-china and this guy only become the president just months ago have not visited india yet his first visit is actually to turkey to ankara and then now he visits china and he still have not visited the biggest major power of his region basically his neighbor and uh, this is actually very very uh, unusual and very very poor in terms of foreign policy so no matter how you want to be you no know, you want to find other powers to do some balancing against india being uh, not not paying the respect to your neighboring power uh, is uh, always a recipe for disaster so but no he made a point he visit china before india so and uh, however all these things you no know, still but it did the maldive government did not really go all out uh, uh, anti-india in this sense so the foreign ministry basically uh issued a statement uh saying that they are aware of the you no know, derogatory remarks and they say that these opinions are personal and they do not re uh, reflect the views of the government of maldives and they say that um freedom of expression should be exercised uh, in a democratic and responsible manner and do not spread hate negativity or close relationship between uh Maldives and its international partners. So they, they say that the government will not hesitate to take actions against those that make such derog uh, derogatory remarks. And what happened is that they suspended the three ministers that made these statements. So the three are the Srina, uh, just now the Mariam Srina, Mausha Sharif, as well as Mazu Majid. So this three is currently suspended. They are not sacked yet. Uh, they are suspended. So because the president is not around so i think they still have to wait for the president to come back from china before they can actually you know do something so this is maudi modi this is the the president uh muizu muhammad muizu so so some background why why suddenly there is, there is this major role between Maldives and india it's mainly because this president runs on a ticket runs on a campaign narrative which is india out so they he basically runs on India out and are basically 
he targets you no know, to uh, pivot away from India as a major partner and he he eyes you no know, foreign powers like China and Middle Eastern powers and in his first vis first visit he actually visits to Turkey to Ankara and um, and basically you no know, include also taking the uh, following through with his campaign promise to demand India to redraw its troops from Maldives and uh, what is the funny thing about these troops in Maldives is that uh, there is a military base uh, is, there is a military base uh, near their capital uh, which the Indians are currently using he claims that India is trying to use this military base to take over the entire of Maldives which clearly is not likely to be the case because there is only 77 soldiers in Maldives that op operates two helicopters and uh, and also one aircraft which is all provided by India to help to reach people on distant islands which need medical assistance so these troops are here on humanitarian mission and uh, this it becomes really ugly in the sense that uh, 77 soldiers uh, that is helping with humanitarian issues are now being claimed to be you no know, soldiers of occupation and uh, so this is definitely you know, not going very well uh it's gonna it really looks really ugly and um yeah this this actually goes in total opposite of the previous president's stance the previous president is actually pro india and uh he made a statement uh due to all this saga he says that you no know, india has always been a good friend and he said that uh he condemned the use of the hateful language is uh used by these uh, government officials and he said that uh, India has always been a good friend to Maldives and su they should not allow such you know, remarks to negatively impact the HO friendship between the two countries. And it makes total sense because they're just next to each other. How? What are they expecting you know, other powers to do? They are, are they expecting China or you know, Turkey or Saudi Arabia or Iran or whatever countries to come to the aid of Maldives if they go into a war with India? I don't think so. And I don't even think India borders too, but India is definitely, you know, taking a very, very close watch on Maldives' action because Maldives getting close to China would mean that there's likelihood that China would start to invest in Maldives and start to build a port, which the Chinese would like to use for military purpose. Because currently, uh, geopolitically and geostrategically, the Indian Ocean is basically India's backyard. They, they is entirely influenced and heavily controlled. Uh, by the Indian Navy so this is basically uh, this the Indian Ocean is basically India's uh, uh, spheres, in, sphere, a sphere of influence which something that China is struggling to do right now uh, they are trying they are trying to create some kind of influence as well in terms of the oceans around it but tentatively they don't have much uh, uh, no they have a lot of opposition put it that way because Yellow Sea they have the South Koreans here East China Sea they have Japan surrounding it and then in Southeast Asia uh, Southeast uh, South China Sea the entire of Southeast Asia and Taiwan is blocking so China cannot really project the power in naval power uh, like India could India have the full control of the Arabian Sea the Bay of Bengal and the, and the Indian Ocean so and of course they have to share power with United States uh, which is you know uh, goes without saying but no they don't have a problem with United States so the so with uh, Maldives is actually a very sensitive issue for India. Same thing goes for Sri Lanka, uh, which which they also had problems with. Sri Lanka tried to flirt with the Chinese and then you know, didn't go very well. Uh, so this is currently happening, and which is why the Modi's visit to Lakshadweep um, is probably also partly in reaction to the election of this new anti-India or pro-China president of Maldives. So he went to promote his own island and give Maldives some kind of a small headache. But to be honest, India's population is massive. No, it does. It's not going to make a huge dent. Uh, if there wasn't this entire saga of you no, know, uh, of criticizing the prime minister of uh, India and then you know, causing this boycott to happen, if they have kept quiet, I don't think it affects because ultimately, competition-wise, um, I think Maldives clearly will win. In terms of tourism and whatnot but when they when they know probe all these you no know, nationalistic sentiments then yeah the boycott is going to hit quite bad 
of course there will be indians who will not be you no know, nationalistic they will still visit because Maldives may not have to you know go into some um uh good promotions you no know? and then of course there will be indians who will just go to visit Maldives because it's cheaper because of the boycott so generally um i don't think commercially it's going to affect that much but you no know, it is a diplomat diplomatic issue and i think uh, this is absolutely unnecessary is basically creating problem for nothing so countries you no know, bothering major powers should always keep good relationship with their major power this goes without saying so um when the people tr when countries try this kind of funny things yeah things don't re really you know go very well in the long run so anyway thank you for watching do press the like button subscribe i'll see you guys in the next update